When I was a kid, games were hard. It wasn't just because I was a stupid kid. Even as a stupid adult, those old games were still hard. Gaming in the 1980s and 90s was just a brutal experience. Go play some Contra and tell me that shit is fair. This was mostly because game design still had strong connections to their arcade roots, where games had to be difficult so you had to pump more quarters in them in order to continue playing. Sure, that didn't ever make any sense for console gaming, but it's all that anybody knew. Fast forward to the 2000s, and the landscape shifted. Gaming broadened its appeal, targeting an audience that didn't revel in the masochistic joy of perpetual defeat. Remember the original Resident Evil, where each bullet was precious and saving your game was a strategic decision? By the time of Resident Evil 4, you were wading through ammo like it was Black Friday at a gun store. It wasn't just single-player games that got easier. As much as people reminisce about classic World of Warcraft being a more difficult game, compare it to EverQuest, and WoW was as easy as cooking a Pop-Tart. Enter From Software, a Japanese game studio who took a look at the casual gaming crowd and said, I hope you like the taste of death. Demon Souls broke the mold, kicked you in the nuts and stole your lunch money. It was difficult by design, and it found its audience of people sick of having their resolve insulted. Elden Ring was the ultimate realization of this. As soon as you feel like you're getting a handle on the game mechanics, Melania shows up and craps in your cornflakes. Elden Ring breaks the rules of how hard games should be in the modern day. Electronic Arts would see this as a gamble and a stupid idea, but Elden Ring sold 23 million copies. Let that sink in. 23 million copies. I would have rage quit Final Fantasy 16 by now if I had to try defeating the first boss 12 times. But Margaret the Fellowman, I'd smash my head against that rock until it breaks or I ended up in an insane asylum. Honestly, I would have quit gaming a long time ago if I still had to devote the same kind of time to video games as I did before I had pesky things like employment or adult responsibilities. Spending untold hours trying to figure out where the secret doors were in Doom are long behind me. You know what? Elden Ring deserves its success, and we should all let it have it. Sure, there is a place for an easier game on the market. Games are in fact a mass market item with plenty of room for everyone, both the serene and the sadistic. From Software has shown that in the push for an easier market, the industry neglected the hardcore gamers that created the industry. Not every game should be as hard as the anxiety-inducing 90s, but some of them should be.